Chris Warner is a sleazy, egotistical, arrogant... Oh, oh, tree it's all right. Excuse me. Chris Warner. I'll be glad to see the back of her. She's a neurotic pain in the butt. You are the only person who has ever really got under my skin, Meredith. I hate the thought of you leaving. I can't stop thinking about it. Chris... But can't we just... spend some time together? Not entirely sensible. Damn. What? The lift. I thought uh, fate had given us a few moments alone. Oh, well, at least we won't be stuck in here all night. Would that be such a bad thing? Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> Not yet. What are you doing? Please, 30 seconds. I need to ask you something. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine, Mum. Was that all they could tell you? Chris. Didn't I ask for this infernal thing to be fixed? Well, they said the repairman will be in here this morning. Yeah, well, so call him again. OK, well, I'll see you tonight, then. Not good news. Hmm? Uh, hard to say. Well, don't they know whether it's time? Uh, it's not. They check the dental records. They don't match. But what about the ring the dead man was wearing? Well, apparently that is Dad's. I don't know. I just have to wait till Mum gets back. Maybe she's got more of an explanation. Oh, excuse me. Been upsetting my staff again, more? I think she had something on her mind. Hi, Rachel. Finished your meal? Yeah, except for this lump of dead animal. All oh, right, you're a vegan now, sorry. I was. Well, I'll get onto the kitchen about it. No meat, no eggs, no dairy products, right? I'd be better off cooking for myself at home. Yeah, well, that shouldn't be too difficult to arrange. Just as soon as you get a bit of weight on you, you can be out of here like a shot. That's easy for you to say. I've got a fast metabolism. What I eat gets burnt off as energy. Are you looking for something? No, just tidying. I thought this was a century when women were supposed to take responsibility for their own bodies. Not to mention... Breakfast and lunch. I wouldn't feed that stuff to a pig. Rachel, I thought you wanted to kick this problem. There is no problem. Get the kitchen to send up another meal. So, Kirsty, who's next? Oh. I've got it. Got what? The bits in your chart I couldn't work out. Is this something I really want to know? Pluto's transiting your sun, but Mars is squaring it. That's what got me confused. Mm, I imagine it would. And on top of that, there's going to be an eclipse on your mid-heaven. My mid-heaven? Gosh. Very soon. All of this means? Well, that means you should be especially careful. Something devastating could happen. Something that could make or break your whole career. Well, maybe it already has. Hi, Chris. So, Peg, I hear you're setting off in new directions. A very wise decision. Entirely due, of course, to my perceptive advice. Oh, of course, Shane. Everyone knows women don't have opinions of their own. Very true. Uh, I guess we should do lunch before you leave. I might even let you choose the wine. Oh, you're so generous. A quick trip across the ditch, a room overlooking Sydney Harbour, ferry rides by moonlight. It'd be such a waste if I had to do it alone. I guess so. So, what's the answer? I can't afford it! I'm afraid it's no longer a valid excuse. Tickets for two. I guess it must be written in the stars. Shane, you shouldn't have. But I wanted to. I can't believe you've done this. It's a New Zealand. I told you not to do it. Shortland Street, hello. Guy Warner, uh, just a moment. Do you know where Guy is? Um, he's not in. I'm sorry, he's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Hello? Hello? Oh, thanks a lot for calling. You should have called me from the airport. I would have been happy to pick you up. Oh, thanks, Jen. But the shuttle always seems less bother. I'll make a cup of tea. You are staying, I hope. Oh, uh, no, thank you. 
Oh. I thought, what, with your bag? And... Oh, no, I rang Stuart's place, but there was no one home and I didn't want to go back to an empty house. Oh, of course. How'd it go? Oh, well, it turned out to be a wild goose chase. Oh, I am sorry. No news of Tom? Uh, the body wasn't his. Oh, it's a shame. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I'm sorry the trip was for nothing. I know. Must be hard when you're hoping to get some definite answers. Well, it is. At least it's given me some time to do some thinking. I'm just fed up with false alarms and the police don't seem to be doing anything. So from now on, I'm going to take things into my own hands. Honestly, Kirsty, you are beyond me sometimes. The man of your dreams offers you free tickets to Sydney. A posh hotel to stay in the time of your life. I'd call that pretty darn simple. I just don't like to be in anyone's debt, that's all. But he wants to take you. It just wouldn't feel right unless I paid him back. And you know what Sydney would be like? I'd have to take spending money. Shopping money? Yep, yeah, shopping money. It'd end up costing me a bomb. Kirst, it's only money. Well, it's money that I don't have. I spent all my on that dress and those shoes. I am totally broke. But those were essential purchases. Absolutely no reason to look a gift horse in the mouth. But I don't want a gift horse. If I'm going to be close to Shane, I want to feel like his equal. And if he keeps paying for everything, I'm just going to feel like a dolly bird. Well, you aren't. Anyway, with the kind of money that he earns, $500 to him is like $5 to you or me. I haven't even got $5. This is for you. What's it for? I ran out of checks, so I had to go to the cash machine. Yeah. What? The rent. Oh. Hi, babe. Hi. You ready to go? Yeah, I'll just get my bag. Come on, Jojo. Eat up all your veggies and grow big and strong like Mummy. Come on, open your mouth up. This is ridiculous. I couldn't agree more. Oh, at last, an attitude. Are you being paid extra to be on food patrol? No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. I suppose you're a prefect at school, too. Wrong again. And how's my girl today? Bored. Can I go home? No, not just yet. Here, these might keep you amused. Oh, I've read them. So, how's progress? This is doing fine, aren't you, Rachel? Yeah, just fine. That's excellent. Pop back when I can. Packing. Yeah, library books. I don't want to forget them. Hey, I wondered if we could make time to have a talk before you go. Maybe have dinner? Highly unlikely. It would mean a lot to me. Guy, what would be the point? What else is there to say? Well, I just don't feel like it's all over yet. I can't give you up that easily. But... Too late now, pal. I just feel like there's something I could do to make it up to you. There isn't. It's over. You're on my mind all the time. Surely it's the same for you. Well, I could hardly forget you exist now, could I? Well, then you must feel something for me. It's not like that. You, me, it's over. Yeah, but it will be different now. No. I'm leaving. Well, that, that could be a good thing. Give you some time to think and I could come and visit in a month or two. You're not listening. It's not going to happen. Believe me. All right. Because you're too busy. You're too busy to have dinner with me. But you're not too busy to have dinner with Jenny, right? Yes, that's right. And believe you me, she showed a lot more maturity than you are right now. Best of mates now, are we? Oh, I don't need this guy. In fact, I've got to go to dinner. Bye. Did you have to see the body? Oh, there was no need. It was impossible anyway. But it definitely wasn't dead. I had a funny feeling all along it wasn't, but then there was the ring, and I couldn't imagine Tom giving it away. I suppose it's good news in a way. I mean, at least now maybe he's still alive. Yeah, but what about the ring? How did whoever it was get hold of it? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, Stuart, I don't know what to think. I don't want Tom dead, of course, but I'd like to know once and for all. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've got the ring. I'll give it to you. It's what um, Tom would have wanted. I'll get it. Good to have you. Hi, Stuart. Hi. I better get off to work. I'll see you later. Bye bye, dear. So how was the flight? Oh, I quite enjoyed it. There's lovely views of the Alps. How have things been with you? Oh, good. Busy. Nursery's doing well. Oh, glad to hear it. So it wasn't him then? 
No. Well, I know this sounds awful, but in a way, I couldn't help hoping it might be. I mean, at least you wouldn't be in the dark. I know. Thought crossed my mind. Listen, if I'm putting you in an awkward position, you, you'd tell me, would you? I mean, if you want me to stay away for a while. Why would I want you to do that? I just don't want to make things harder for you, that's all. That's very thoughtful of you, Laurie. I like having you around very much. Well, as long as you don't feel I'm complicating things. Oh, quite the opposite. Actually, you've helped me make up my mind about what I'm going to do. Which is? Well, you'll see. Quite soon, I hope. I've already set the ball rolling. Mr Warner, I've been looking for you. Well, here I am. Kick away. Oh, you are a little joy, Jim, aren't you? What's wrong? No, 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 let me guess. Could it be the final brush-off from Dr Fleming, perchance? Maybe. So what do you want to see me about? Look, someone rang for you this afternoon. It hung up in my ear. I have a funny feeling it was your friend Ray. Ray? Are you sure? Mm, just a hunch. I think you should watch your step. No. There's no need to make a big drama about it. Ray Holden's fairly harmless. It's Anita I'm worried about. Mm, OK, it's your funeral. Nice choice of words, Carmen. Thank you. Hey. We never went out for that drink you promised, remember? Mm, OK, let's hit Cindy's after my shift, eh? Sounds great. Oh, what's the hurry? That's um, the emergency call, Anita's ward. What's wrong? You gave the emergency call three buzzers. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Kyle's in a bit of pain, that's all. Oh, Kyle, let's have a look. Oh, oh, my hands are sore. Yes, I know, lovey. I'll get you something to make them feel better, OK? I'll meet you at Kennedy's as soon as I've fixed up Kyle and gone to handover. Right. Hey, what's your problem? It was only a false alarm. Yeah, true. Madame? Um, so should we... we get <laughs> Sorry, after you. No, no, go ahead. Um, maybe a bottle of wine with a meal? Fine. Hi, how are you this evening? I'm fine, thanks. Some bread while you're studying the menu? Yeah. Yeah. Red or white? Uh, white, maybe. Uh, unless you like red. No, not white. White's fine. I'm glad you agreed to come out tonight. Me too. A 50? Who's the big spender? Oh, your sleazy mate, Dan thingy. Declan's pal. No kidding. We should spill water on him more often. Maybe he's not such an old sleaze bag after all. Oh, I wouldn't count on it. You any relation to that Nielsen guy that went missing? It's my father, why? There's something about him in the paper. Are they still running that story? I think I'd leave it alone by now. No, 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 it wasn't a story. There was an ad in the personal column. Personal column? He's still here. So, what's the verdict? I'd hate to sample the delights of Sydney all on my own, son. Lucky I'm coming with you, then. Oh, that's brilliant. What made up your mind? This, mainly, a little cash windfall for my ticket. There's no need. It's on me, really. Thank you, but no thank you. I can afford it. I might have to sell one of my BMWs. No! I know. You're thinking there's strings attached, right? Listen, there will be, even if you do pay your own way. Get serious, Raskin. I'm not coming with you unless I can pay for myself, OK? You stubborn woman. You bet. As you wish. All right. The late flight to Sydney, supper in bed, followed by room service all weekend. We are planning to leave the hotel room, aren't we? Only for prolonged bursts of shopping. Well, that was a great dessert. How was yours? It was great. Oh, good. A cure? Oh, maybe just coffee. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it's probably best. Oh. <laughs> what? This is ridiculous. We go to all the trouble of coming out for dinner, <laughs> but then we can't even talk about what we came here to discuss. OK, where do we start? Anywhere, as long as we talk seriously. I agree. You first. OK, now wait. Mm. Evening, you two. Enjoy your meals? I'm fine, thank you. Compliments to the owners. Oh, good, I'll tell my man you said so. When I find him, that is. About to drag him off to yoga class. I've not gone into hiding. Mm, better not have. 
Uh, well, maybe I should leave you two to it. Oh, we were just going. Oh, we'll be good. There he is. I'll nab him before he escapes. Skip the coffee. By all means. To this, you put on one and a half kilos. Hmm, as much as that, and choice. Uh, before you get back into bed, would you mind just emptying your pockets? Why should I? Just a thought, please. You've got a suspicious mind. Maybe. I mean, you wouldn't hide anything in your pajamas or anything. What is this? A police state? Well, if you've got nothing to hide, Rachel, there shouldn't be a problem. You just want to humiliate me. No, I just want to see you get over this. There is nothing to get over. You people are the ones manufacturing the whole deal. Oh, come on, Rachel. I don't believe that for a second. I don't think you do either. No one's trying to persecute or humiliate you. All they want... All I want is to see you walk out of here fit and healthy. These games you're playing, hiding your food or whatever, they're just dumb and they're not hurting anyone except you. Try again. Oh, hello, love. Shouldn't you be at work? I took a break. Did you do this? Do what, love? Put the ad in the paper. Actually, I've put ads in all the papers. Mum, when me and Nick put Dad's photo up everywhere and we got all those crank calls, you went ballistic and now you go and do something like this. Stuart, I'm sick of sitting around doing nothing. Somebody must know something. Yeah, what if you get the same response as we do, and you get a hold of the nutters ringing you up? It's worth the risk. And if the ads don't come up with any results, at least I'll know I've done my best. Stuart, I've got my own life to live. I just don't want you to shut me out, all right? I want to help you. It's like you're leaving me out of everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Really no need to feel like that. OK, well, just tell me if you need my help. I will. I promise. I'm happy to get going. Yes, speaking. Yes. Uh, Tom Nielsen is my husband. Are you planning on having Andrew stay with you? Yeah, I'm going to stay with Mum. Oh, at least until it drives both of us crazy. <laughs> well, the clinic won't be the same without you. Who am I going to argue with? Oh, you'll find someone else. You have talents in that area. Yes, but uh, people as pig-headed as you are a rare breed, Meredith. And certainly not as much fun in a lift. <laughs> There is something between us, isn't there? It's not just my imagination. No, it's not. Um, I don't know exactly what that something is, but, yeah, it exists. Well, I, I don't quite know exactly what it is either, but I think we should... Chris, I can't get involved with you. Not now. Not after everything that's happened. Well, I think we are involved. You know, I think we've been involved for a long time. It's just that now it's surfaced. I think we should act on it. No. Us getting together would be ridiculous, totally. Oh, I don't think so. An affair with my ex-fiancé's brother? A little tacky, don't you think? Well, yes, yeah, some people might say that, but yeah, so what? No, Chris, it's all too close. Your family, our work, all mixed up together. It's positively incestuous. I'll leave that to Guy, if you don't mind. What do you mean? Oh, Guy's affair, that's what broke us up. He had an affair with someone at work. It's all in the past, Chris. Oh, the little sneak. Who was it? Oh, it doesn't matter, really. Oh, come on, Meredith. Isn't this the time when we're supposed to be putting the cards on the table? Um. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I I'm sorry, but it's past visiting hours. He's a beautiful kid, isn't he? He's my kid. It's very good of you to visit, Mr. Holden, but um, I think they both need their sleep. Is he all right, Carl? Is he okay? Look, I think we should discuss this outside so we don't wake him. Is he going to be all right? His hands? Kyle's had an operation, but he's going to be fine. What for? He damaged a tendon while he was trying to escape from the fire. It wasn't my fault. I, I didn't mean to hurt him. It was Anita. 
If she let me see the kids, everything would have been all right. Look, maybe you'd like to wait in our staff room and then you could talk to Anita when she wakes up. Trying to trap me. Just like all the others. Look, no one's trying to do anything except get all this sorted out. That social worker, he's the worst of all. Making my own wife take out a court order against me. Mr Holden, nobody forced your wife to do anything. She did what she did because she was frightened. That's not true. She wouldn't be scared of me. You're all the same. Well, you listen now. No one's going to take my family away from me. No one. You can tell that to your precious social worker. If I can't have them, nobody will. Come on, the plane's taxing for takeoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Matt. Sorry for keeping you out. <laughs> All right, I was up anyway. Have a lovely time. Cheerio, Matt. Bye. Oh, tell you goodbye. I will. Yes? I phoned about your husband. My name's Myra. Oh, yes. Come in. I'll um, make you a cup of tea. No, thank you. Oh, well, if you're sure. You said you could tell me something about Tom. This is pretty strange for me, Mrs. Nielsen. I feel as if I know you so well. How could you possibly know me? Through Tom. He's spoken very highly of you many times. Oh, you've seen him. He's alive. He's alive, but I'm afraid he's not very well. In fact, he's seriously ill. Well, where is he? I can't tell you that. What? Why not? I can't. Tom doesn't want you to know. But you mustn't worry. Your husband's in safe hands. We're doing everything we can to help him get better. Well, who's helping me? I mean, who's we? Friends of Tom's, with his best interests at heart. What sort of friends? If you can't tell me where he is and who he's with and what's wrong with him, well, then really there's no point in going on. I know it's difficult, but you must trust me. How could I? <laughs> Would this help? He was carrying it when we found him. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance for a dream, Sean Man Street. Taking down the whole my place, yesterday's another place, just living for Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.